Hey guys, it's Brittany from WWORP and today I'm going to show you some pulled back ball pythons from 2022. Mostly produced, but some we purchased, so let's get right into the video. Alright, let's start with this gorgeous girl. This is a panda pied ball python. We produced this girl this year. She is a black pastel cinnamon pied. We had amazing luck. She came out with no kinks, no duck billing or anything. She is absolutely gorgeous. She just has color on the head. While I did wish she had some color down on the rest of her body, I'm just thankful that she came out absolutely perfect. Both her and her brother did. Her brother was a black pastel cinnamon, 100% head for pied. Absolutely no kinking. She is a gorgeous, gorgeous girl and one of our definite holdbacks of 2022. This next girl here is in a shed and I wish she wasn't, but she is a lavender albino ball python. Absolutely gorgeous. Don't mind this right here. This is just some blood from her last meal. But she's an absolutely gorgeous snake and we have a male black pastel lavender albino. So we needed to hold back one more female this year and this will make 1.3 that we have. Again, she's absolutely gorgeous. I really wish she wasn't in shed, but she was a for sure hold back of 2022. All right, this girl here is a female banana uh, black pastel. Almost said banana cinnamon, but she is not. She is a female banana black pastel. Um, I really like the black pastel gene. We work more with cinnamon, but um, we're gonna start working more with black pastel. They do similar things, but I think the black pastels have a little bit more pattern, which is nicer in my opinion. Um, don't get me wrong, I love cinnamons, but she is a gorgeous girl. We had two of these this year. We did sell one, but we decided to keep her back. Again, a gorgeous, gorgeous animal. One that, as soon as I saw her and her sister, I knew we needed to keep one back. So, here is a female banana black pastel. I guess everybody just like wants to be in a shed today. Um, most of my holdbacks are in a shed. This is a female lesser clown. I love what Lesser and Butter does to clown ball pythons. It adds so, so much pattern and a gorgeous color to them, like a butter color to them. They're gorgeous animals. I love how busy she is. Um, we have some other ones held back um, with Inchi in them, but personally, I just love the regular like Lesser clowns and how busy they are. Here we have a female Asphalt Spectre. Um, we don't have really any asphalts or specters in our collection, so we decided to keep her back to sort of mess around. Um, we're gonna see what we're gonna put into her in the next year or two, but really, really unique pattern. I love the stripe on her. Um, again, we don't work with either of these jeans very much, but we're excited to start working with them more. Um, She's a gorgeous girl. I love the earthy tones in her and her pattern. I love this pattern along the side. Imagine that in like banana or like a lavender albino. Gorgeous. All right, here we have a female purple passion. I love purple passions and obviously everybody else does too because whenever we produce these, we sell out of them. And we only have a couple females that really produce purple passions. And I tell you guys, literally as soon as we have them, they're gone within a week or less. I've taken them to a reptile show over the weekend before and sold out of them within the first hour. Um, they are a beautiful, beautiful color. I think people really like the name Purple Passion, but we held her back to produce more and also produce some Super Phantoms, which I will show you next. But Purple Passion Girl was a must, and we also held back a boy of this, this um, to this year. All right, and here we have a female Super Phantom. Unfortunately, she is in a shed, but the reason I love this girl is because of how dark she is. She does resemble a Purple Passion. Um, a Purple Passion is a Mojave Phantom, and here this is a Super Phantom girl. So we bred Mojave to Mojave this past year, and we produced Purple Passions and Super Phantoms. I only produced one Super Phantom, and it was this girl, but as soon as I saw her, I knew she needed to be a holdback for us. She is much darker when she is not in a shed, but she is one of our 2022 holdbacks. All right, and here we have a female albino pied ball python, believe it or not. She is just very low expression. Um, 
You can see the pied markings on her belly and down by her tail. Um, she is very gorgeous. I love how when you take away some of the pied, um, the white of the pied, you can see the rest of the colors very, very vibrantly. Um, but we held her back for a 20, for 2022. Um, if you see our Facebook post about her, you can read more about um, why we decided to keep her back instead of a high white ball python or pied ball python. All right, and here we have a pastel orange dream spot nose probable lace ball python. We've had a few people look at her. They do believe she is lace. Um, this is not a girl that we produced, but it is one that we acquired this past year. Um, lace is a newer gene that we are starting to work with and we're very excited to work with. We have a few males that are waiting to come in to breed for this next year. Um, but lace is a really cool gene. Uh, we're putting it into some clowns and into some leopard stuff. And it's a, very, it's a new gene to us. We're excited to work with it. Um, and we should have a lot of lace um, ball pythons actually in 2024. Um, but we should produce in 2024 some super laces and lace clowns, which we are very, very excited to work with. So make sure you follow us and keep up to date on our lace project. Cause it is one, it is one we're heavily going to start working with. Here we have a pinstripe inchy ball python. She is also 100% het for desert ghost. We have a lot of desert ghost held back this year or het desert ghost held back this year. We also have some double het for desert ghost and VPI Xanthix held back. Um, Desert Ghost we are also going to start working pretty heavily with pretty soon. Uh, we'll have lots of Het Desert Ghost available this year in 2023 and also some Double Het for VPI Exanthic Desert Ghost available this year. Uh, I held her back just because I really liked her pattern. I like the pinstripe jean um, and I really like this like bright orange color she has along her sides. All right, here we have a female banana GHI Mojave. We decided to keep her back this year. We actually produced two. We produced her and her sister. That was a scaleless head. Um, we didn't keep the scaleless head one back, but we did keep her back. Um, the GHIs have been very popular for us lately, which was another reason why we decided to hold her back. But I like the purple color she has to her. All right, this is one that we acquired this year. We did not produce this guy, but he is a Bamboo Pastel Leopard Spark. When we saw him, we knew we had to have him. Um, we really like the leopard gene, and Spark is not one that we're super familiar with, but we are gonna be working with it this um, year, this coming year. Um, we're excited to see what it does, but we were looking for a male bamboo, um, and when we saw him, he had very awesome colors and patterns in him, and I really like the fact that he had the leopard gene in him, which was one of the deciding factors of why we got him. All right, now this girl doesn't look like much, but I have two of these girls held back that we acquired this year. These are females that are 100% het for tri-stripe. We're gonna be getting into the tri-stripe. I'm gonna pick up a male this year um, to breed. I really like the tri-stripes, but I'm very picky on what genes I like in the tri-stripes. I like a lot of darker morphs. Um, as opposed to the lighter morphs and tri-stripes other than the one I really do like is ultra male tri-stripes But I decided to pick up a couple of these girls because they're just ones I enjoy All right, here we have a elixir ball python. This is a female and of course she is also in a shed um, A elixir is a mystic mocha ball python. I believe we acquired this one in a trade um, And we decided to keep her back to see what awesome things she could do All right, here we have a female Inchi albino. I love what Inchi does. It really enhances the albino gene and creates these really dark oranges in them, um, which is one reason why we decided to keep her back. She's the only Inchi that we held back this year, but she's very pretty. All right, this is another girl that we acquired. We did not produce her this year, but we're very excited to breed her in the future. Um, this is a black pastel pinstripe hypo. We love that orange orange stripe she has going down her this is a very cool jean or very cool ball python and i love the jeans in her i love the black pastel in her and that orange stripe is really just what makes it awesome all right i'm not going to show all of them but i have a trio of 
100% het sunset. This female is a firefly 100% het sunset. I also have a female pinstripe het sunset. Um, you can actually see an unboxing video I did of her on my TikTok page at WWORP. Um, and I have a male lemon blast 100% het sunset. We're very excited to work with this as well and put all the different jeans into them. All right, this guy is much nicer in person than on camera, but this is a Mojave Cinnamon Ultramel. This is a male we decided to hold back just to get some different jeans into our Ultramels. All right, and this girl, of course, is in a shed. I'm sorry most of these have been in a shed. If I waited for these to come out of a shed, then the other ones would just be in shed. Um, when I filmed it. So here we have a female jigsaw ultramel ball python. Gorgeous, gorgeous animal. Again, much better when she's out of the shed, but a jigsaw is a pinstripe Mojave. Very cool little girl. All right, and this girl here, she's actually posted for sale, but if we don't sell her, um, we're probably just gonna end up keeping her back, but this is a blue-eyed leucistic ultramel. And she's very white, but she has these ruby colored eyes. Let's see if I can get in focus for y'all. Kinda. She has these ruby colored eyes and she has these like really pretty pink stripes along the side of her face. So she's a blue eye leucistic ultramel. Very pretty girl. Again, she is posted on our Morph Market store. She's be a very good breeder to pick up if anybody is interested. But again, if we don't sell her, um, we're probably just gonna end up keeping her back for ourselves. All right, I have to talk fast before this girl spazzes out, but we acquired her in the past year. This is a female Orange Dream Champagne Fireball Python. We uh, acquired her a few months ago, um, but she's very, very pretty. We love the Orange Dream and the champagne, and that fire is what is giving her that white portion of her tail. And if you look at her head, it's just very, very orange. She is not a very nice girl though, um, but this, I think, is the last one that I'm going to show you guys. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, those were the majority. There's probably a few I'm forgetting about that are out in the garage, but um, some are bigger than others. Some of the smaller ones actually hatched out closer to December time as to where the bigger ones hatched out um late spring to the summertime um and also some of them will take rats some of them are still on mice so that's what um attributes to the size difference but i hope you guys enjoyed it um i want to film a corn snake holdback video from 2022 pretty soon i know it's a little late to be putting this video out but something i want to do something i want to show you guys um let me know what was your favorite animal that i showed you or favorite morph that i showed you um, I don't know when I'm going to get this video out or even the corn snake video out, but I'm hoping to get this one out um, within the next couple of days. Um, follow me on my TikTok page. That is honestly where I do the most, although I did take like a little break from TikTok recently, but I'm getting back in the groove of it. Our TikTok is WWORP. Um, we also have a Facebook, Instagram page, Ward's World of Reptile Propagation, along with a Morph Market store. So be sure to check those out, follow us, and uh, just support us. So thank you guys. Have a nice day. Okay, and this is another one we decided to keep back and hold uh, for 2023. Hi, Cookie.